PF Making Tactile Graphics Making tactile graphics is very easy. Print your image on swell paper and put it through PF. But making a good tactile graphic takes a little more time and thought. Tactile graphics are not visual. They don't need to look visually appealing. The area of your finger that you use to read a tactile graphic is about the size of a braille cell, 2.5 mm wide. Make sure that no detail is smaller than this throughout your diagram. Before you make a graphic, it's wise to decide whether it is the best way to convey the information. Using a decision tree helps to make sure you only make the best tactile images. Make sure lines follow a priority system. Thicker, unbroken lines have priority over all other lines, and thin, broken lines have the least priority. Don't use arrows unless they're really needed to convey information. If they don't convey necessary information, they're just clutter. If you do need to use arrows, clear a fingertip width path around it. As you see, making good tactile graphics takes knowledge, experience and patience. This is a well-designed example of the bridge you saw earlier. A good quality tactile image can only be achieved if you use high quality material. Using the PF pens, you can create any image. Because of the quality of the original PF paper, even the finest line will be clearly discernible. The original PF paper allows you to add more graphical information. When it is run through the PF, the quality of the existing tactile information will not be compromised. The same great results can be achieved with graphics designed on your PC. When you print it on the original PF paper and run it through the PF, you will enjoy even the tiniest elements.